and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about some Zutter tools. And one of my favorite Zutter tools is the Bind It All. And with the Bind It All I can make home decor projects as well as mini albums. Today we're going to work on a mini album. And it's a tiny mini album. And we're going to cut it out of something a little bit smaller than usual and has a different shape, not a square or rectangle. I'm going to use these great little coffee sleeves that I was able to achieve from my favorite little coffee store and make a mini album. So come on into my studio and let's see what we can make today. Okay, so here we are at my desk. And what we're gonna work on today is I was able to get a little stash of these coffee sleeves, coffee mug sleeves, and I wanna make a mini album. Cause I also got this beautiful paper that's just so much fun from Canvas Core and it's coffee themed paper. And this was one page that was definitions of, it was called coffee definitions. And so I would cut them out into tags, rounded, inked up the edges. And these are going to be the tags that fit into my mini album. And I took the, uh, the rest of the paper and I covered the sleeves, just took a regular sleeve. This one here, I'm going to leave just like it is. I just inked it up a little bit around the edges used the other papers in that collection to cover the fronts and backs of my album. And I also found one piece of paper in the Authentique Free Bird collection that the colors just worked really well together and I wanted to use what I had and blend them all together. So we're gonna use our bind it all. Now this has a slight curve on the bottom so we want to make sure that when we put this in our bind it all machine that it's pushed down all the way as flat and firm as you can get it because you want to make sure that you bind this clean if you don't have it done all the way you could get a real narrow or you could get it off and it's just not going to punch so this is the center point and when we're working with something smaller sometimes it's easier just to center it up and I am pretty confident that her face is in the center so we're going to line this up with her face now I happen to notice that when doing so this little tab that's on the edge here happened, if I pushed it back, it made a resting point for this to rest up against and it's still centered. So that's an easy guide for me. It may be off just a tiny, tiny bit, but I'm okay with that. At least this way I'll know that all my pages will be the same, it'll be consistent. So we're gonna push it down, make sure that it's all the way down, flat, flush, and make sure that the back piece is pulled out because that's what's going to give you leverage from flipping your bind it all over when you're trying to press with it and then we're just going to punch. Now I have a great little punch that goes all the way across and I'm going to do that for all of these pages and because I know that that guide stop works perfectly just to rest it up against I'm going to continue to do that for all of the pages that I created. Okay, so here we are, and I have decorated all my little pages now and added all my embellishments to them. You want to make sure that you embellish your, your album after you've punched the holes. If I would have put all these embellishments on here before punching my holes, I might have put this flower and got it in the way and wouldn't have been able to punch this cover correctly. So always make sure that you cover, you, do, you can go ahead and do your paper and cover it with paper, but before you add any embellishments, make sure that you punch your holes then add your embellishments and now we're ready to bind so i've put my album in the order that i want it to be front to last and i know that i have six holes here and this is a chunky album so i'm using the one and a quarter inch wires this is in antique silver so we're going to come through and we're going to count these little fingers you've got the little fat fingers here and the little fingers so we're going to count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I know if I put my finger there that I'm going to have to cut here. So we're going to grab our Bind It All wire cutters and cut. Move that out of the way. Now this is where people get confused quite often and they get intimidated by binding their own stuff. So I'm going to show you how I do it and maybe it'll help. Um, I hope that you'll understand my reasoning. When I bind my album, you have to remember that you want the seam of your O wires to be in the inside of the back cover. So you want them to be in the back hidden and inside, not outside. 
the, the way that I remember to do that is because I want it on the inside of the back cover, you need to bring your back cover, just like it is, around to the front. And some people flip it around, however you wanna, um, they try to bring it around this way to remember, but my, my way is I just bring it straight to the front. So that's the way it would be in the album. We're bringing it up to the front so that the inside of my back cover is facing me. And that's how I remember. I want the seam on the inside of the back cover, bring the back cover around so the inside of the back cover is facing me. Because we want it to be the seam on the inside, we're gonna take our little fingers and start with our inside pages because we want the seam to be on the inside. So we're going to just add these pages straight through so that we end with our back cover, the inside of our back cover facing us. And I've already set my bind at all. I've set the clamping, the crimping plate here to be set for the one and a quarter inches. There are lines, guidelines that are on here as well that you can see that'll tell you where to line it up. And then you can use these guides to make sure you want it to fit in there firm enough that it can sit up but you can take it out quite easily as well. So that's ready to go. Now, we put it inside our crimping, plate, our crimping plate and we want our inside fingers to face the Zutter machine. And we wanna make sure that our all of the little legs are flat and firm against the bottom of your bind at all. So they're there. This is, I'm holding this somewhat in the center, facing the back, and we're just going to slowly, not super slow, but not super fast, just a smooth motion. You want to make sure that it's lined up and bind it, and now we have the perfect circles, and our seam is going to be on the back. So now, when I bring my back cover around, it's catching there on that seam, which is exactly what we want. So now my little album is bound and I have beautiful O wires and I can put my tags in my album and dress it up and finish adding any other embellishments that I wanna to add to my wires. And there we go. So there's a mini album in an odd size shape, very small, embellished, ready to go, bound. Ta-da, I've made a mini album. So thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, send me an email, let me know. Thank you, bye.